आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे ट्वेल्थ ऑफ नवंबर नाइनटीन थर्टी फर्स्ट राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस स्टार्टेड इन लंडन In 1919 the freedom movement was in full swing with its non-cooperation movement spearheaded by Gandhi ji also the government of india act 1919 could not satisfy the demands of indians for increased participation of indians in all branches of governance there were increasing demands of granting dominion status to india among a certain section of the british polity too thus to inquire into the working of the government of india act 1919 simon commission was appointed in response to the inadequacy of the simon report the then british prime minister ramsay macdonald in 1929 decided to hold a series of round table conferences in london there were three such conferences the first round table conference convened from the 12th of november 1930 to the 19th of january 1931 prior to the conference mahatma gandhi had initiated the civil disobedience movement consequently congress did not participate in the first conference but representatives from other indian parties and a number of princes did The outcomes of the first round table conference were minimal. The British government realized that the Indian National Congress needed to be part of deciding the future of constitutional government in India. The British Indian government released the political leaders of Congress to make a favorable environment for the talks between Gandhi and Lord Irwin. After the end of the first round table conference, Tej Bahadur Sapru, C Y Chintamani and Srinivas Shastri appealed and tried to persuade Mahatma Gandhi to talk with Viceroy Lord Irwin following the talks in March 1931 the Gandhi Irwin pact was signed and Gandhi ji agreed to suspend the civil disobedience movement and also consented to participate in the second round table conference Twelfth November is also the death anniversary of Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya the famed indian educationist and freedom fighter who is also called mahamana malviya was born on 25th of december 1861 in allahabad and studied in calcutta university he then became a school teacher and later a lawyer and a newspaper editor he is also the founder of the hindu mahasabha malviya was an important figure in the non cooperation movement in 1928 he joined lala lajpat rai jawahar lal nehru and many others in protesting against the simon commission which had been set up by the british to consider india's future just as the by british campaign was sweeping england he issued on 30th of may 1932 a manifesto urging concentration on the by indian movement in india malviya was a delegate at the second round table conference in 1931 During the civil disobedience movement he was arrested on the 25th of April 1932 along with 450 other congress volunteers in Delhi Malviya was the only leader of the Indian National Congress who was appointed as its president for four terms Malviya always tried for Hindu Muslim unity he gave two famous speeches on communal harmony one in Lahore in 1922 and in Kanpur in 1931 In his presidential address at the INC's Calcutta session in 1933 he said I implore all Hindus and Muslims Sikhs Christians and Parsis and all other countrymen to sink all communal differences and to establish political unity among all sections of the people Is ghar ko dekh kar hum kehte hain ki iska rachne wala koi chatur purush tha jisne rehne walon ke sukh ke liye जो जो प्रबंध आवश्यक था उसको विचार कर घर रचा हमने रचने वाले को देखा भी नहीं 
तो भी हमको निश्चय होता है कि घर का रखने वाला कोई था टू रिडीम हिज रिजॉल्व टू सर्व द कॉज ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड सोशल सर्विस He renounced his well-established practice of law in 1911 forever in order to follow the tradition of sannyasa throughout his life. He pursued the avowed commitment to live on society's support. But when 177 freedom fighters were convicted to be hanged in the Chori Chora case, he appeared before the court despite his vow and got acquitted 156 freedom fighters. Malviya who was keenly interested in uplifting the educational standards of the country was the principal founder in 1916 of the Banaras Hindu University in Varanasi a premier institution of learning Malviya's consciousness toward the public led to the launch of his own Hindi language weekly the Abhyudaya the leader of Allahabad an English language daily and the Hindi monthly the Maryada He was conferred with the Bharat Ratna along with former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar AIR News Ke Sang. See you in the next episode tomorrow.